Hello, IEP. Alexis Johnson here for the IEP News Center. Today, we're here at Sutton Hall for the groundbreaking ceremony of the new Humanities and Social Sciences Building, which is to begin its construction right here between Clark Hall and Sutton Hall. Many members of the IEP community were in attendance at the ceremony, including IEP's Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Timothy Moreland, who opened the ceremony. For alumni, though they may be a little sad about seeing some familiar buildings go, they may now also celebrate that their alma mater takes a big step today. Several others gave remarks, including IEP President Michael Driscoll, who had much to say regarding his excitement about the new facility. It is a facility that will help us do that. We agree that technology needs to be used to enhance the great learning that we do already in the classroom, face-to-face -face direct interaction with our faculty. This new facility is designed to have that cool technology that's not a substitute for the rest of our educational experience, but makes it so much better. The Dean of the Colleges of Humanities and Social Sciences, Yao Asamoa, also expressed his excitement by stating that he never thought he would see the construction of a new building during his professional career. Many of my faculty colleagues had given up the hope that this would ever happen in their professional lifetime at IU. I'm grateful to be able to bring our faculty and students closer together and to have the learning space we need to do the very best we can to support our students in several graduate programs and to provide the foundation to the undergraduate education experience. After the closing remarks, 19 faculty members participated in the breaking of the ground. <laughs> Construction of the new Humanities and Social Sciences building is expected to begin in spring of 2014. For the IEP News Center, I'm Alexis Johnson. Now back to the news desk.